Joining me now here on the MMA Report Podcast Extra is a man that runs. He's a founder and president of Lights Out Championship, Matt Frendo. Matt, I appreciate the time. Fight week for you. Inaugural event. You know, obviously, uh, I, I think the backstory of, of why you started promotions out there. So I really don't want to drag on to that too much. But uh, Lights Out Championship, how did you come up with that? That's going to be the name of the promotion. Yeah, so you know, I I was just thinking of of good MMA names, and and I talked with um, a few close friends and and some people I trust in the business, and threw out about seven to ten names throughout a, a couple week uh, span, and this is the one we came up with. So I feel like it, it's a it's a pretty good name, uh, you know, lights out, um, you know, it, it's it's uh, it fits it fits for the sport we're in, so. That's what we did. I, uh, my family and, and stuff, we decided this was this was going to be the best name for us. So, And, and one of the things that uh, Ed was telling me that I thought was pretty interesting is that uh, you had fire kits designed for you know fires and corners to wear. Well, these are totally optional. So uh, how, how many of uh, the people are taking advantage of this? Every single one. Um, so every fighter gets their own. And, um, you know, I don't, I'm not making it mandatory that they have to wear it. Obviously we encourage it. We're spending some good money on making these kits and, and, um, you know, giving back to the fighters as much as possible. And, um, you know, a lot of these guys are going to have their own undershirts with their sponsors and stuff like that on them. And, and, um, you know, it's a, it's a jogger pair of sweatpants. It's a, uh, hoodie for the top and, um, they get a lights out t- uh, t-shirt as well for it. So most of those guys will wear their own undershirts and they'll still promote their own sponsors, but it's just a cool thing. I'm I'm trying to come up with some ideas, uh, out of the box type stuff that other promotions aren't doing. And, um, you know, I, I don't want to go UFC on these guys and make it mandatory and have them, uh, you know, make a, make some of their sponsors upset, but it's cool. Um, they, they, they turned out really good and I'm really excited to give them to these guys. Of course, uh, for the fans that are not up in uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, this is an internet pay per view that will be available on Fight TV. So if you want to check out that, uh, before we get to the main event, gotta ask uh, you: you've got twins fighting on the undercard of this one. Uh, you know, so kind of tell me about the story of uh, of the twins that are going to be part of this preliminary card. Yeah, so Idris and Abasi Perry, um, these guys are like freakishly talented. Um, they're they're great athletes uh they're both really strong but very well rounded um both super tough guys they both have very very good uh futures ahead of them as long as they continue um grinding and working as hard as they as they do these guys put in a ton of work they both work regular 10 hour a day jobs and then they train as much as they can and um they they're they're both awesome so uh adris was uh, the first one to fight for me uh, he fought he's he's three and all all three of his fights have been for me and after his first time he fought for me he told me he had a brother um i kind of knew of him I, I i don't think i ever met him at the time and he said you know my my brother's gonna be better than me and i he mostly was joking i think because he's not a guy that says somebody's better than him um but you know he introduced me to his brother and they kept telling me he's gonna be a stud he's gonna fight one day let's get him in and I, I finally took their word on it, got him a fight, and he, they're they're both just such solid fighters. And I think, like I said, I think as long as they continue sticking with it and and uh, you know grind as hard as they are, I think they both are going to go pretty far in the sport. You've got a heavyweight main event, uh, Ruben Esparza versus Ray Lopez. Uh, what what ultimately made you decide that this was the the fight to headline your first show? So the card was originally supposed to be in Holland. Um, so we were doing the show in the Holland civic center in Holland, Michigan, and both of these guys are from Holland. Okay. So, um, six, I think it was six, about seven weeks before the event, I had a disagreement with the venue. They wouldn't print me tickets in person. Like they wouldn't give me physical tickets for the fighters to sell. They, they were a hundred percent stuck on fighters have to sell their tickets online. And they'll still get a code and they'll still get their commission. And the way they explained it to me, I'm sure it makes a, makes a lot of sense. It's easier to track, keep organized. I get it. But that's not how organizations operate here in Michigan. I don't know if some states do it. Um, but these guys like to have tickets in hand to sell. They know they know what their commissions are. They know the money's going through them. They, they're more comfortable. And when I found this out, I talked to fighters and they were like, you know, we, we're not interested in doing that. So... I had to make a change and it kind of sucked because a lot of these guys are from Holland. 
Uh, I think I've got nine fighters on the card that are from Holland. So I kind of built a card around Holland fighters and the city of Holland. And both of these guys in the main event are from Holland. Um, I've been asked a couple of times about it. And the backstory on this fight is one that I personally haven't chose to get into a ton because it's the story is insane. If I tell people they don't even believe me, but the hatred these guys have for each other is 10 years deep. Um, it's a hometown rivalry, some super bad blood. And the story is, I, I don't tell it because I don't want to mess it up. And it's also not so much my story to tell. I think it's not fully public for a good reason. So, um, there, is, when I was looking at the card, there's obviously some, some really good fights and, and a couple fights that could have been main event, but given the backstory and with us supposed to be at the Holland civic center, this was the easiest choice for, for my main event. So. Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, definitely some bad blood there, definitely between those two guys. Uh, you know, yeah. obviously, as a promoter, you, you're you're putting all these fights together, but I, I've got to imagine there's one fight on this card that you're like, if I had to pick fight of the night, it's this fight. What what is it? Yeah, so I've been I've been saying this. I think my fight of the night is uh, Randy Patino versus Michael Gilmore. Um, see, it, it's crazy. So Randy is a West Side guy. Mike's been more of the East side, more of his fights have been on the East side of the state. Um, so the West side of the state isn't super familiar with Mike. He fought for me his last show. He fought for me once as an amateur and the guy's super talented, very well-rounded is really tough guy. He hits like a Mack truck. Um, and Randy has been on the West side. He's fought both his pro fights for me. He fought once as an amateur for me and the East side of the state doesn't know him that well. So it's like, you've got two guys that, a lot of people aren't super familiar with them, but stylistically, these guys match up like perfect. They're both they, they both can wrestle. They both have really good stand up. They both can pull off submissions. They both are strong, athletic. They both hit super hard. Um, I, I just looking on the card. I mean, I it, it's hard to pick a winner in this fight. I think this is this on, on paper. I believe should be fight of the night. And, of course, everyone's going to be able to watch this on Fight TV. Uh, let all my listeners and watchers know uh, how they can get more information about this card and also on your promotion. Yeah, so we're, we're actually going to be launching our website, I believe, tonight. Uh, we, we're kind of late in the game on getting the website done, but we just got the website ready um, for a, a soft launch. Um, we, you can follow us on Facebook, uh, Lights Out Championship. Uh, we're on Instagram, Lights Out Fights. Um, I think we got a Twitter up and going. We're going to have all kinds of, you know, Snapchat, all that stuff getting going um, with this first show. Um, some of those second and third social media things kind of got put on the back burner. But um, after this show, our next one's not till February. So we've got a ton of time to kind of knock that stuff out. So um, check the Facebook page. Like I said, we're going to be launching the website tonight. So um, and after this first show, we'll have a ton of content going up and uh, a bunch of updates on some future information. Man, I appreciate your time. Have a good show this weekend, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it.